you're probably used to downloading files from the internet to your computer, but it can be a little confusing to download and locate files on your iPhone and iPad. So in this video, I'll walk you through downloading and accessing your files on both the iPhone and iPad. Like any web browser, you can use Safari to download these files. But how do you know where these files go after saving them? Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. The Downloads button in Safari only appears when actively downloading files. Here's how you can see the files that you downloaded in the last day. You'll open Safari. You'll tap on the double A icon in the lower left corner, which is the reader view icon. And here, if you have any recent downloads within the past couple of days, you'll see downloads listed. If downloads isn't there, then you have no recently downloaded files. Tap on downloads. And now you'll see the files which you have downloaded within the past day. You can clear them and they will not be uh, erased from your uh, device, but they will be removed from the Safari downloads area. It looks a little bit different on the iPad on uh, various sites when you go to download. So I just wanted to show you that. So if I come up to the three dots where it's going to allow me to download this item and I click on download, You'll see that quickly over here, the download option appeared, and then it asks me if I want to download this. I go ahead and say download, but as you can see, you don't see the downloads uh, option here where the double A's are. If I click on that, you also don't see the download portion uh, listed there, but the file has been downloaded to the files app and we'll cover that shortly. Default setting in Safari removes the downloads from the list after one day. Just remember the downloaded file isn't removed from your device, but it will be removed from the downloads list. You'll likely only see them here if you have recently downloaded any files. You'll need to open the Files app to access your downloaded files. Let's go ahead and set up your Downloads folder and check your download settings to see where your downloads are stored. We'll go ahead and we'll open the Settings app. We'll locate Safari and tap on that. Locate the Downloads section and tap on Downloads. And then this is where your downloaded files are stored. And as you can see, mine is stored in iCloud Drive. You could also choose to store them on your iPhone directly, or you could choose other. And when you choose other, it's going to open in the downloads folder area. I'm going to tap on the back button and tap on the more icon, and you could create a folder where you wanted your downloads to go if that's what you wanted to do. I'm going to just go ahead and leave mine in the download section. I'm going to tap on browse to come back. I'm going to cancel out of here. This is the area where your files are stored in Safari in that list. If I tap on that, you'll notice the default is removed after one day. You could have them immediately removed after a successful download, or you could choose to manually remove those files from the Safari list. Once you've downloaded any files, you want to be able to access them. So you'll open the Files app, or you can search for it. So I'll open the Files app, and iCloud Drive is highlighted, and I can locate by just scrolling through, I could locate my downloads folder. The easiest way is to come into search and start typing it. 
and you'll see it there and I can open it. And then these are where all of my downloads are stored. You could then create new folders and move those downloads into any folder um, of your choosing. But what if you use another web browser uh, such as Chrome? If I go to search through here, I'm not going to find the Chrome browser. And it's basically because I don't have any downloaded files in it. But if I tap on search and I type in Chrome, you'll see that the Chrome browser appears and there are some downloaded files inside of the Chrome app, but they are stored on my iPad. So there you would see the Chrome folder if I clicked on on my iPad. Now you should easily be able to find your downloaded files on your iPhone and iPad. The easiest way to access them is through the Files app. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.